got here early today and uh, I thought I mean they got here early I didn't it was 10 o'clock I showed up and uh, these guys are already working so they're pounding that's a pound ground pounder right there and uh, hi there <laughs> Are you one of the foremans, or? Yeah. Well, you want to say anything about your uh, construction uh, outfit there? Let me get a good close-up of that. Yeah. Some JDB. JDB. Yeah. You're going to be doing my flat work, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Good. I, I didn't think you... I, I was on the phone yesterday, I mean, by the guy on the phone. I didn't think you guys would be here this early and working. Yeah. And look at you go. Yeah, we're going to try to get out of here pretty quickly. Yeah, then uh, when will you delay the concrete? Uh, we're going to get this set up to pour for tomorrow, the back porch to set up to pour tomorrow. Okay, Hopefully. before tomorrow. Yeah, we're pouring the garage tomorrow. Oh, so you're talking about this whole whole yeah. setup here. Yeah. And then, then that part over there tomorrow, Are maybe. The homeowner? Yes. Oh, okay. What's yeah. your name? Gary. Gary? We'll have to give you a Brian. Book. Got a handful. Got you. So, yeah. Uh, you, all you guys, concrete people, have been really on the ball. Well, I mean, I ain't kidding. Gotta be before the weather gets crappy. Yeah, that's yeah. why I think they're gonna. I think you're gonna do all this too. So yeah, we'll probably start working on the driveway tomorrow. Okay. Hopefully. And then, now there was a little bit too much in there. Is that what he's taking yeah. it down a little? Yep. And then you're gonna put. Is that go on? Gonna put, where's our ground? Oh, I saw him dump it over there. That's where he dumped it. Where That's the gravel. gravel. And this, this must be dirt, more dirt for the backfill. Yeah, God back damn it. I didn't want this yard. <laughs> I didn't want a big yard. <laughs> getting it. All that's going to be driveway. Oh, okay. So uh, that's what so I need. The driveway, the approach is going to come from the street. Yeah, that'll the be. Garage, and then we're going to wrap it around. Is that no, right? no, that's just, that's just going to be gravel over there. Not oh, just okay. for the RVs. Oh, okay. Cool. So, yeah, what let me call that little device there. What's that? What do they call that little thing? This? Yeah. Jumping jack. Jumping jack. Jumping jack. And this is how it works. You're going to show me right now, huh? Yeah, it ain't little. <laughs> <laughs> He's pounding the ground down here so we can put the concrete on there and not have it crack up. Well, you look at it. You see how far that's going down? That's pounding that. Well, it's soft dirt. It just got laid in there yesterday. Well, let's go back around here and we'll look at that form over there. They got Looks like they got hit up, too. Then they go in here with the, the other gravel, like the guy said. I'm going to leave that in there, too. And, uh, awesome. Well, this looks like it's going to be quite a little slope there. That's okay. The rain will come off. They'll, they'll make it right with the framing and such. But this is where our, uh, or Vicky's. This is Vicky's portion of the outdoors is. This will be, uh, uh, I should be coming out right about there somewhere. The door to the kitchen is right about there, I think. This would be her little uh, patio. It's covered. It's uh, a little fancier than mine will be. But uh, that's where it is. And they looks like they got it string lined out, so that's how high it's going to be. Then now they got to fill that in with gravel underneath. So that's what they're doing there. They're gonna have, you heard what he said, they're gonna have that ready to pour right there. That and this ready to pour. And then they're uh, tomorrow, and then they're gonna get that driveway ready and the sidewalk ready to pour, I guess, the next day or something. But we'll get pictures of all that. Uh, I don't know more how much more I need to get of this, but I'll get a, enough to make a video and send it to y'all they're going to use for the base right here this will compact down good that'll be the base and uh, the rocks there they're taking out that's what they brought in yesterday that's, well I guess I don't know which you call the base that might be the base and this may be the top part of the base so I'll just call it that I don't know what they call it but uh, that little felt strip going around there that's how high the concrete's going to be and this will be all ready to go, like I said, tomorrow. We'll get some more pictures of it, for sure. Well, I was just talking to the foreman. I didn't know this, and 
it's a good thing, not a bad thing. But they're going to have a little concrete slab come out here too. I guess four foot out and then all the way across over to there. So the, the AC unit, I think, sits right between those two. So that's what that's going to be. That'll be cool. And, uh, you know, later on, like I said, we'll have that all concreted probably or something. But they're wetting it down. they got to wet it down before they uh, do any pounding, naturally. And that's what they're doing. Then they're going to, that little device over there, well, he's filling that in now. I mean, we'll go look at that. They'll use that thing and they'll run over this thing back and forth. They don't have a roller. I would kind of prefer they did, but they don't. But the, that'll do it. They'll just roll that, get that wet, run that up and down on it. And right now, he's getting that leveled out. And I don't think we're going to need a privacy fence. That will save me $2,700. <laughs> So I can put that into my garage. <laughs> He's a jumping jack, that thing. See how that's squishing that ground down. That'll uh, make her nice and tight. And this guy's putting dirt down first, then they put rocks on it from there. Again, we got something new to show you. This is six foot tall. This is how tall the fence would be. Right there. So there's no reason for a privacy fence for sure. Uh, all these, maybe maybe it would work if you're sitting down, but otherwise, I don't think that's gonna work. Well, no more when it's done for sure. You see, he's got a bucket full of product on there, and now what he's doing, he's running back and forth with the tires. Mashing it down with a full bucket, as much weight as he can get onto that little skid, skid steer. Tried to say that backwards. Uh, anyway, that's what he's doing. He's packing it down now. He'll get this packed down. They're watering it. Then they'll pack that gravel they brought down. That's the gravel we got delivered the other other day. Now that's their gravel there. This is some extra dirt, I think. We got two more piles of dirt. That may not, that may be, uh, I don't know what that product is, but we got dirt over there. They left two piles there to fill in. So uh, that's two truckloads. I tried to figure out how many truckloads they brought in here, and I think it's about 70 truckloads of dirt that came in here. I could be wrong, but I was just kind of counting the time it took them to bring it in. So that's what they're doing right there. Now they're pouring on the next course. I don't know. It looks like they may still put stuff up on top of this course. Don't know. But I know this is different than what he's spreading on top of. And they level that all out nice, and they're going to stomp on it with this thing, too. Again. You can see that jumping jack pounds it down nice and smooth, but the tires are doing a good job to it. Dang near the same level. With all that weight going back and forth. What they're getting ready to do over there is called screeding. They're all suiting up with the knee pads because this is rough on your knees. But they use the screed also to, uh, they'll use that when they pour concrete to get it smooth. But we'll give you a little bit view of this called screeding they're holding it right down to the felt line there and to the string line in the middle they drag it across making it perfectly level the other guys will push up gravel to any holes they see and then they'll redo it and they'll do that through this whole area. You can see they got lines. A little line here, you probably can't see it, but they got one here, and they got a green one there, and a red one here. They'll move over and do the same thing here. 
Then I'll move over and do the same thing right down here. That makes it nice and smooth for the concrete to sit on equally, I guess. That's what they do, called screeding. Filling in the low spot, knocking down the high spot. It might be. <laughs> yeah. It's drying pretty quick on that first, first piece. Do you put anything more on it or just this water and then pack it and then this is done? Yep, that'll be it until okay. we get the concrete on it tomorrow morning. Yeah. And the concrete will come up to the top of your felt right here. Yeah. And then uh, from while, while he's doing this, you guys will finish off that little uh, piece over there? Yeah, we're going to pour this in that tomorrow. Okay. And then will you form up the other tomorrow? Or uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll be forming up your sidewalk. And the driveway. Uh, I'm not sure when we're doing the driveway. I think they're doing the driveway at the same time. They're going to do it all. Oh, then yeah, we'll be forming and that tomorrow. And then they got to pour a little concrete there, I think. And that, I don't know when they'll do all that, but. Yeah, we'll be. Well, they're all gone. Tools are packed up. Looks like I had a little gravel left over. I told them just push it over there because I'm going to put a driveway up through there. So they did. But this is all nice. We got the inspector on the job. What do you think? Is that good enough for you, Hank? He's still inspecting. But they'll be pouring this tomorrow. I think I've already said that. But they got it ready. I think they pour it up to the bottom of that board right there. That's where the felt is, they call this stuff. All the way around, that's how thick my floor will be. Looks like about four inches. Nice and well, well packed. Let's walk around here and check this out. Now I'm going to put this on one video, then tomorrow I'll uh, video. I got a lot of stuff going on tomorrow, but I'm going to try to video all of uh, pouring this concrete and pouring this over here. It's ready. Hey, get over here. Don't know where you think you're going, but no. Sorry, I had to yell. I didn't know what he was chasing. There's skunks around here. Okay, oh, I see what they got going on here. These are the footings for the pillars that'll hold up the patio. It's all ready. They got their rebar in there. Got a, a more slope than I think I'd like. We'll see. Hopefully my barbecue don't roll off down the hill. But that's ready. We got the missus here, along with you seeing me yelling at Hank. She checks it out the end of each day, make sure they do it right. Well, that's it for today. Tomorrow, we'll be pouring more concrete.